We continue our conversation here with Stacia and Linda of the AV Wall. Hey, we're back here talking about the AV Wall. And uh, one thing that was brought up during the break there was uh, you, if a veteran, no matter what branch of the military or when you serve, when you show up there, are you recognized uh, with, uh, they recognize you, correct, for your service? Yes, we are a 50th commemorative partner with the Department of Defense Vietnam 50th commemoration. Mm. And so we do have Vietnam veteran lapel pins that mm. we okay. give out to Vietnam veterans I gotcha. in country yeah. or not, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. because it was never your choice to say, I'm going, I'm right. staying yeah. home. Um, <clears throat> so anybody who served from... 1 November, <laughs> 1955. 55, correct. Yeah. Through May... Through May 1, 1 of 75. 75. 75. Is right. eligible to receive this pin. We do have a ceremony right. on Veterans Day, mm -hmm. but if you're there any time during the display, mm -hmm. um, we will present it. It's yes. And it's not just come and grab your pin. We do try to make it very ceremonious and, mm -hmm. and help people understand we appreciate your service. Yeah. And, and we are very grateful for what you did for our country. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sure after, you know, Monday morning at eight o'clock or whatever, uh, you know, your the muscles are sore. Yeah. The, uh, the, the voice the is there. The smile's fading. Yeah, in yeah. Smile and things like that. But, you know, it, it's, it's a passion, uh, yes. and your volunteers, yes. uh, yeah, it is. and I'm, I'm glad to hear, you know, uh, there are younger people stepping yes. in, yes. uh, which is very important because without, you know, somebody to carry on the legacy of what you guys right. are doing and, you know, it's so, right. so hard for us older folks and stuff, you know, and I'm pointing to me, you guys aren't older folks, <laughs> to turn over those keys. Oh, it's yeah. very difficult. Oh, yeah. you know, no. You're saying like, okay, where is that person that's going to hold mm -hmm. this key yes. as passionately right. as I am. Right. And that is hard. Yes. But you know, we are so blessed this year, the president of the Antelope Valley College Veterans Club mm -hmm. had been involved with the wall at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And then since then he has joined the military. He is now um, out of the military and he's the president of the club at the college and he's getting his young veterans involved with us. Very good. So yeah. it's not just the JROTC. The only youth we allow is the JROTC. Mm -hmm. We don't allow scout troops or mm -hmm. Correct. youth groups or anything. Right. Mm -hmm. But to get somebody who is now a veteran, mm -hmm. um, but a younger veteran, um, to get out there and help, that's critical for our mm -hmm. yeah. mission to continue. Yeah. So it is very nice. Uh, and with the passage of time, you know, uh, you see, uh, you know, uh, soldiers called home. And uh, last year you lost uh, Bob. Bob Evans. Yes. Bob Evans, yeah. who has been... Uh, Dennis has written much about Bob, Bob. Uh, shared pictures, always a fixture yes. at the yes. wall there. Always. Because he was at, the, he had helped raise funds for the wall in D.C. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he was there, he was a docent there for three yeah. years, I believe. Right. Longer and even. So yeah. he knew inside and out that wall. Yeah, so it did. was so important for him to be at our wall yeah. to be able to share that mm -hmm. knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, very key. Uh, other individuals, of course, George Palermo and... Uh, he moved away. He moved away. He's <laughs> and he Arizona always guy. comes out for our wall, and he can't be here this year for yeah. it. So I'll miss, you know, that will be difficult. His presence there. But, you know, you have yeah. other uh, individuals that uh, won't Yeah, we care. have Mike Bertel, who's the president of Point Man and the president yeah. of the AV Wall. Yeah. Um, he will be there. Yeah. And we have Lyle Banks. And good old yeah. Lyle. Yeah. Glenn yeah. Nestor. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. we have yeah. a good, good yeah. group of guys. But as you said, they are getting older yeah and so we're always looking for younger people to come in and yeah and as you can see this is not a boys only club exactly that's stuff. right you know you have a lot of women <laughs> that come right. out there uh for that's the right. first couple of years i was going out there i think i interacted with women uh you know that's all there Probably. was out yeah. there when yeah. i showed yeah. up when they're volunteering yeah uh and and very knowledgeable about right. the subject matter yeah. thank you we have a very uh, thank you. strict yeah. training program yeah. yeah we don't care if you volunteered before yeah. you must attend our training yeah. because things change you know our theme changes yeah. the wall names change a little bit and we are lucky to be partners with the kiwanis as well as the american red cross mm -hmm. those groups come out yeah. every year and volunteer with us mm -hmm. um and we have volunteers who have been volunteering since the since, beginning, yeah. and they still, it, yeah. it's a, like a nice little family, but yeah. we do welcome new people in because we do need new blood. We need yeah, new um, energy. We need younger yeah. legs. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, they're very well trained. So anybody can ask a question of anybody there and they will right. get accurate right. information. information. And we pride ourselves on that because yeah. it's so important to get the right information and yeah. understand that wall yeah. as accurately as mm -hmm. you can. 
Thank you for joining us for this edition of AV Veterans Talk.